Hey everyone, uh, thanks to Miro for uh, inviting us to contribute to the Miroverse. Um, we are looking at one of our bots right now, and as you can see, it says Beyond right there in the upper left corner. So maybe let's go into who or what Beyond is. Uh, Beyond is a creative consulting firm, and we build digital products, brands, and services uh, for clients from different industries. And what sets us apart is that Beyond has been founded two years ago by two business consultants uh, and thus combines a very high strategic expertise uh, with the knowledge of digital veterans who worked in various agencies and bring an excellence in production to the table. Uh, my name is Tim Gobert. I am in charge of the production of all our digital products as an associate partner in our studio in Düsseldorf, Germany. And my job is to combine uh, UX design uh, UI design processes and uh, tech while acting as an accountant for our clients. Uh, I've worked in different companies and digital projects for around 18 years now. Um, but that's enough about us. Let's look at the at our board now. Um, and what do we see here when we uh, look at the board? Um, we are uh, seeing the first thing uh, is we see some explanatory text blocks. So if you're using this board and you don't want to watch uh, the video um, every now and then, uh, you have all the information you need right in there. Uh, so dig through it and you'll, pro you'll have everything you need to uh, work with it. Uh, and uh, then uh, we have a board which we uh, use as a UX design anal analysis. So this is the first thing uh, that comes um, uh, to work when we start a new project. Um, so this is one of many boards we like to use to brainstorm on how to approach a project we uh, do for our client or for, us, uh, for ourselves. And this one uh, was made for uh, process and competitor analysis uh, and was used to gather requirements uh, for the login uh, and registry process for a car sharing app. Um, so the board is kept quite simple, like uh, we like to do with all our boards. Uh, that way we can easily tailor them to our needs for each project uh, without too much hassle. Um, and as you can see, it's quite easy to customize for yourself. So um, we've got some preset boards here, um, like we structure our UX analysis into uh, separate functions. Uh, when you look at your proje project, try to rough sketch different process steps and make some boards for them. Different process step, different column, it's pretty straightforward. So what we have here is, for example, uh, onboarding uh, or the login process. We've also got create account. Um, and later, um, you can see find car. So if you're not happening to um, build a login or registry process for a car sharing app, you'll probably want to change both up. But um, that's pretty simple. Um, we like to structure it in blocks to give some visual orientation for features that act together. And that makes it easier to uh, handle them and to deep dive into specific uh, functions uh, of the uh, process or the app you're building. Um, it's also orientated from left to right because that's quite obviously the direction uh, we like to read, um, but also it gives some orientation without prioritization. So it is not like one step in the process more important than the other, but rather they all act together at one, um, at one thing, as one thing to um, uh, form a complete process. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that allows us to um, put down uh, and compare different clip flows, uh, no matter how complex they are in different apps. So um, how are we using uh, these boards in particular? The first thing you want to do is uh, you want to fill those boards. So um, as you can see here, uh, we've not only uh, got different columns, but we've also got different rows. Um, and uh, for app one, you want to use your own one. So if you've got uh, some rough sketches or some basic wireframes when you're starting a new pro uh, product from scratch, uh, you can put those down. Or if you're iterating an existing uh, product, maybe take some screenshots and put them in there uh, of all the different process steps so you can see how they uh, really act together in the different functions. And then you've got two additional rows, which is here set down as app two and app three. Uh, which allows you to put down best practices or competitor analysis um, 
I would recommend to not only look at competitors, um, but also at uh, some different industries who've solved the same uh, problem that you're trying to solve. And we are looking um, more out of the box uh, here. It really gives you some great inspiration on how you could approach this. Um, so what you're doing is you're taking screenshots um, and pasting them in there, connecting them with arrows uh, or whatever you want. Um, and then you can have um, quite a good overview on uh, how long your process should be for uh, how many steps it should need uh, and how it will all work together. Uh, and then what we uh, like to do is we uh, add some more information uh, using the sticky notes feature in uh, Miro, um, where we use the red ones to um, mark some issues we find. These might resolve, for example, from a user testing or something that doesn't follow your own or your customer's uh, guidelines or design patterns, patterns, or it might also be IT issues. If something just isn't working properly, um, this is also something you can put down there. Um, then we use the yellow ones to provide some uh, context information. So uh, everything that needs um, just some some more input to be understood properly, you can use the yellow ones. So that if someone else is um, using your board and looking into what is happening right here, you already know. So okay, the yellow ones give you some more uh, context on what is going on. And then we also like to use uh, the green sticky notes to uh, highlight some steps during the process. So if we find a great idea, uh, we can mark it um, or we can expand on it um, to look at what it does in a great way. And uh, we can later on integrate it into our own app. Um, and if you do this, this will give you a very good uh, guideline on how to sketch out your new process from a UX perspective. Um, you, of course, you want to check back with the team because there might be additional constraints you need to take into account, but this will help you put down a first rough draft on how a process should work online. Uh, we also have some additional boards here, which you can find um, to the right, which are uh, the first one is the top features where we basically take all the green uh, sticky notes we put down and just expand on them. So just explain why this is great, why you want to use it, why you want to integrate it, and what it brings to the product. And then the next feature we have in here is a wish list, uh, where you can put down all the additional, additional ideas you have during your design process um, so it doesn't get lost. It finds its place um, in your uh, product backlog. Um, and this is something for the features you know that will not quite find a place in the MVP right now, but that might be interesting for further iterations or rollout versions of your product. Um, so just put them down here so you don't uh, miss out on them. Uh, yeah, that's that. So um, if you have any questions, um, we will put down our uh, social uh, media links in the description of the video as well. Um, please get in contact if you need any more information or if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, that's it. Pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. So uh, good luck and have fun with the board. Thank you.